the, the unanimous consent that the quorum call be lifted. Without objection. Mr. President, the list of things that we can do but haven't done is extensive. It's long. Uh, we need to chip away at that list and get our work done as 2023 comes to a close. Today, I want to highlight the urgent need to pass a long term, a long term, not a continuation of little short extensions, but a long term FAA reauthorization legislation. The current FAA reauthorization expired on September 30th, in which a subsequent extension was passed until the end of this year. That's not many days away. Congress is now progressing toward another short term extension until mid-March 2024. I serve as the lead Republican, the ranking member of the Aviation Subcommittee on the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee, and I stated at the very beginning of my tenure in that position the importance of passing a long-term reauthorization, and I am here today to continue to beat that drum. Continuous short-term extensions are detrimental to the agency, the industry, and the flying public. This is about public safety. We've been genuinely and rightfully concerned about the flying public and reauthorization of the FAA bill as we have developed it is an important component of making people safer as they fly. Multiple year reauthorization is necessary for long term planning and growth of the civil aviation industry. I come from the air capital of the world, Kansas, and we know the importance of this piece of legislation in our ability to compete globally and to defend our nation at this time of national security needs. Multiple year reauthorization is, allows for planning and growth, including the maintenance and modernization of aviation infrastructure and technologies. If the United States is to remain a leader in the aerospace domain, it is critical we provide the FAA the resources and the tools they require. We spent months working on the legislation it is designed and will improve the capabilities of the Federal Administ Aviation Administration. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed an FAA reauthorization, and they did so last July. Unfortunately, the Senate has yet to move a bill out of the committee. In November, the Aviation Subcommittee convened once again to address close calls and near misses that have recently plagued our nation's airspace, incidents that indicate now, more than ever, our aviation system cert needs certainty and stability provided in part by long-term authorization by Congress. While I was pleased to see my colleagues come together this past October in a vote 98 to 0, 98 to nothing in the Senate to confirm my, Mr. Mike Whitaker as the FAA Administrator, I employ, I request my colleagues to once again find that collaborative spirit, that way forward to address FAA reauthorization. Our colleague in the House, the House Transportation Chairman Sam Graves, recently held a hearing on the consequences of a failure to pass a long-term FAA reauthorization bill. While the hearing touched on a myriad of issues, continued FAA extensions would present the witnesses particularly highlighted these items. Airport programs and project delivery impacts are due to uncertainty in planning, the inability of the FAA to adjust to emerging technologies, and workforce issues for the entire aviation system, particularly air traffic control staffing, which has led to continued delays and cancellations for the flying public. Mr. Rich Santa, president of the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, summarized it this way, and I'm quoting him, the single most important action Congress can take for the safety of the national airspace system would be to pass a long-term comprehensive FAA reauthorization bill and put it into law before the end of the year. Our aviation system cannot make needed advancements and improvements if we continue to, re to uh, allow the status quo, which has near-term and long-term implications. So once again, I stand ready to work with my colleagues, the chairman and the ranking member of the full committee, my colleague, uh, Senator Duckworth from Illinois, my chairman of the subcommittee that I'm the ranking member of, I stand here ready to not only encourage my colleagues, to put, but to put my work where my mouth is and make sure that we take every step possible to find that sweet spot, that needle, which I don't think is that small of a needle hole, to get us FAA reauthorized long term. Our aviation system depends upon it, and most importantly, 
my Kansas constituents and all Americans depend upon for their safety this piece of legislation. Mr. President, I thank you for your attention, and I yield the floor.